Hi everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to use top solid wood to draw something like banquet seating. So you can see how you can um, reduce your time spent on modeling, creating revisions and also drafting. Okay, so let's get on with it. So I've got my profiles drawn up for my banquet seat already here. So what we can do is we can just click on this here and drag it out. Let's type in a distance and we might say 3000. Now you can already see the dimensions. So here, I'm just going to escape out of that. And of course, if we click on our dimensions, as so, it reduces. So they're not just visual, they're also parametric. Now, what else do we want to create? We might want to create the seating as well here. So let's do the exact same thing here and drag it out. Maybe drag it out also to whatever distance this is, which is two and a half thousand. Now I've also dragged out my end panel here, so let's just bring that back. Okay, how can we do that? By just clicking on my end panel here, bring it back from 2500 to say 18 modes. Pressing OK. Now we'll also delete this item here. But if we go back to this side and change view, then we can see our profile here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use our specific wood function to actually create a cutout on this panel. As you can see, cutout done. Look at the back here. We'll just go to this view here once again. Click on our back, create the cutout. As you can see, we've got a cutout there. We'll also produce a cutout here at the front. So click on my front panel, maybe that cutout there, press OK. So we'll just change that to full view. There you go. Now, we've also created this banquet seat, and I added a few parameters to it. Now, here, what I can do is, of course, I can change the overall length of the banquet seat. But also, I've included that if I change this number, say, to 5, then I've got 5 ribs internally. If we were to create a draft page from this, of course, we just go into our draft page here. I like to open up both the drawing and a draft page all at once so we can see both of them together. So here we'll just bring this in, maybe this drawing here, current drawing, make sure it's this banquet seat here, rotate the view and also include shaded view. So we've got our, our actual materials assigned to this also, maybe our plan, maybe our end elevation and so on maybe even axle so all at once so let's take a look at this now and create a few sections now you've already seen how to create a section and so on let's invert that so it's looking at the other side of course with this hatching you can just click on it and you can assign different hatching then to that specific face well what I haven't shown you before is if we just assign, say for instance, horizontal viewport here, our section, and if we go to move that section, it updates, so it's all associative, saving you time and effort and redoing uh, views and so on. Now, let's create a detail, maybe a detail of this section here. Just click on the view, let's create a circle, and that might be the center of it out here. Perfect. So, let's bring it out here. And we'll just make a bit of room for it. Because I want to make it a bit bigger. It's a bit too small there. So, maybe five. Let's move it out. And again, what we can do is we can move this 
and of course it updates our section here so again it's all associative you don't have to be redoing the detail or importing it in separately it's all connected now what about dimensions we can assign dimensions all at once if we wanted to along a length so here we can bring this out we can continue the dimensions then and so on so you can bring them out at the one time what about radiuses not an issue just click on the radius bring it out click on that bring it out easy what about making changes and revisions to my draft and my 3d model they're all connected so once again you make a change to your 3d model let's open this up and let's keep an eye out on our draft say for instance we reduce the number here from 5 to 3 keep an eye out on the my draft there you go we've got 3 let's bring it back once again to 5 let's change the overall length to say 2,500 millimeters again updates your draft page what about if we make another few changes to our dimensions let's just zoom in here maybe the depth of the unit here from 533 to say 700 again updates my drafting let's change the radius here from 50 to 100 enter changes my draft we're getting the picture here let's change the actual angle here even to say 100 there you go big changes made there to my drawing big revisions made and it's updated my drafting as well as my 3d model now let's create an exploded view for the factory floor maybe even a costing list information let's go here create my costing list let's say the length of width this drawing here and let's just click on this view from here see here there are all my items within my drawing names materials and so on let's create an exploded view let's rotate this drawing around and let's go into our assembly and create an exploded view yep open that up here and let's figure out our size here to explode it from and there we have it now let's import in that view into my draft page by just doing the exact same method once again get this drawing and let's pick this exploded view and bring it in press ok bring it in and of course it's a bit too big for our drawing but you can always go into your drawing and rerun it let's turn on our shaded mode for this and as you can see it's a bit more clearer now of course we can also assign indexes as well to this drawing click on our index click on our view so if you want to save time in setting out be it modeling revisions creating revisions drafting sending through to production then give us a call